Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio here. And what we're going to do is create a new light switch application. So we'll go to new project and we'll call this uh, sales demo. We'll do a sales dashboard and we'll use the Northwind database. So this will go ahead and uh, create our empty project. And what we'll do is instead of creating a new table, we'll go ahead and click on attach to external data source. Let's grab Northwind and we go click OK and I'll go ahead and select all the tables I have a couple views I've set up as well which we'll use and we'll just click finish and this dialog will let you know that you don't have a primary key uh, defined on the views so it's just inferring them so only if you use views do you get that message so light switch goes ahead and creates the default project of course we have the tables this is all common to you and then here's our solution so the one thing before we get started is that at this point you would have installed the Infragistix light switch extensions and there's two ways um, that you know they're installed. The first way is if you go under tools you can go to the extension manager and you'll see Infragistix light switch extensions and I have the option to disable or uninstall them once they're already installed. If I right click on my project and go to properties and you go to the extensions tab you'll see that you have Infragistics light switch extensions they're selected and they're checked use in new projects by default and then the other area that's important is under general properties under shell and theme this is where you'll find the Infragistics light switch shell and this is where you'll find the optional themes from Infragistics the IG Metro office and the solid orange color theme so we'll close that out and sure we'll save it so we have our tables let's go ahead and create a couple new screens so the first one I'm gonna do is a list and detail screen and I'll go ahead and select categories and I want to do category details and products I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna leave everything as it is to the default you you know you're familiar with light switch so you know that this is uh, the layout view where you can design your screen and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit run and we will run this project and, and we'll see the output and we'll actually edit it uh, at design time or at runtime I'm sorry so here we have our screen looks nice I can select different categories on the right hand side I have the product details but really what I want to do is make this more visual and impactful to my users so let's go ahead and design this screen and I'm gonna go ahead and change this data grid layout which is over here to the Infragistics data chart so let's go ahead and take the data chart and the data charts a group control so essentially you're applying it to a list of things and then you're setting properties on the data chart so the series group will automatically come up as product then you'll notice here all of the fields can associate now to the chart properties I'm only gonna want a few of these so I'm gonna delete product ID I'm gonna delete supplier discontinued reorder level and quantity per unit for product name I want to make this the actual category axis so it's what's going to show up as the field that we're actually evaluating in this chart and then I want to use some multiple layers on this chart so I'm going to tell this unit price to actually be a column series so it'll show up as a column chart I'm going to tell the units in stock to come up as a line series and then units on order will use a spline so we have uh, 12 different chart types that you can use and you'll see you know as you customize your screens uh, at runtime or design time you can get used to kind of configuring them however you'd like so I also want to change the title of this chart so it actually um, will display or represent what the data is so this is the category details category details and I have a couple options here on the chart I'm just gonna leave everything sort of the way it is and let's go ahead and hit save and now like magic you can see instead of a grid on the right we have a beautiful chart which is easier to read and it's easier to sort of get to the information that a user really cares about with these category details so there's still a few things wrong with this I don't like the fact that this is so wide I want to see more of the chart you'll notice here some of the chart uh, labels are clipped this is our category axis and I sort of have this products header here so let's go ahead and go back to design the screen and I'm gonna go back to the data chart and the display name I want to get rid of and you'll notice that when I get rid of it um, it disappears on the right hand side Oops. let's go ahead and get rid of it so this moved over a little bit the chart itself 
I need the legend so this is my chart legend but I want to enable zooming so now on the bottom I have this zoom bar which is going to allow me to interact with the chart and do range selection on the chart so I can get into more of the details the second thing I want to do is on the left hand side I've got this layout here that's kind of too wide so I'm going to set its max width to something like 150 so it kind of made it a little bit smaller and uh, this is actually not necessarily category details, it's more um, product uh, details. So I'm going to change this to product details. Probably say product category details. How's that sound? Category details. And I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and click save. And light switch is nice. As soon as I hit save, it gives me the nice runtime display. And just like that, I've got my chart. Now the zoom enabled, I can go ahead and zoom in and out of this chart to get more detail. I can use the mouse to do a range selection and zoom in. I can mouse wheel up or down um, with this as well. So I can use the keyboard or the mouse to get more detail. But just like that, really with uh, no code, you have sort of a dashboard view of the category units and price, units and stock, and units on order. So with that, let's go ahead and add a couple more screens and sort of exercise some of the other screens and controls. So let's go ahead and add a new screen. Let's do a list in details. Let's do order and order details click OK. So when you do an order, order details, obviously the order has like date time, sort of text field, some combo boxes. And then here we have the same thing. We could choose to do something like a grid, uh, leave it at a grid. If I drop this down, I could do another chart. You know, the sky's the limit for what I, what I can do. But if I start looking at some of the control options that I have, you'll see we have the Infragistics Linear Gauge, Numeric Editor, Numeric Slider. I want to go ahead and use the Infragistics Numeric Editor on the quantity field and this will in the grid give a better editing experience for the end user so we'll do that guy let's go ahead and add another screen and I'm going to do an order detail search in this case so let's click OK and the order details is something that we just added the edit experience for but instead of doing edit this is really going to be sort of a static display or a search and I want to add the radio gauge control so the radial gauge control has several properties that allow you to customize um, the start value, the end value, the intervals, you know, needle dragging. We can go ahead and enable this stuff. Inner extent and outer extent, that all has to do with the how the uh, gauge displays visually. But we'll just leave that as it is for now. Let's right click. We'll add another screen. So let's do a list and detail screen. I'm going to add my views, my sales by category sum. That's OK. And for sales by category sum, what I want to do is again change my um, my list which is sales by category sum I want that to be an infragistics data chart as well and I'm gonna change the category name to the category access the total uh, we can do a column series that's fine let's delete the category there let's delete this guy we're not gonna need it and that will be very nice let's right click again let's go ahead and add another list in details so we did uh, category sum, let's do products. <clears throat> and this is just to exercise some chart types. So let's go ahead, in this case, add a data chart again. I'll go ahead and add my category axis. And for the total, we can add um, you know, a spline area series. That's fine. And let's delete this guy like so. And what we did before, if you recall, when we were in design mode, is we actually went and modified some properties on the chart itself. So let's go ahead and call this sales by product. And is legend visible? We really don't need a legend because we're only showing one value. And let's enable zoom on this. And we'll do the same thing for this screen. Let's select the chart. Let's go to properties. And let's uncheck is legend. Let's check zoom. And let's change this title to sales by category. Whoops. Category. So there we go and we'll save that and let's go ahead and add one more screen let's add another list in detail screen and we'll do order and order details like so and then for this order order details <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a grid or I'm sorry to a data chart and what I want the reason I'm doing this is I just kinda want you to see how you can kind of make this look decent even with something when you have multiple items on the screen so 
here we have a grid and this is sort of would normally be details let's do this as a, uh, a line and let's get rid of these guys here that's fine okay so we have a bunch of screens now so let's go ahead and hit run and just kind of look at the results so again no code I'm just using the default Northwind database I did add a couple additional views myself but the idea is you can achieve this same behavior and same experience yourself um, pretty much building a full featured application without doing any of the code so here's our product category details let's take a look at our order list details you'll recall on this guy what we did is we added the numeric editor inside of uh, the grid so here we have a numeric editor if I try to type letters it doesn't let me so there's restrictions here now there's actually one feature that I forgot about here let's go to design screen and I am going to select the numeric editor and I want to set the show buttons property so let's scroll down and we'll show buttons and let's save this and now this is actually even cooler for your users now you have buttons where you can spin up and spin down on values you can use the up down arrow you can really do whatever you want to interact with this editor now let's take a look at sales by category so we saw this and again this has the range selection we'll do sales by product this is a spline chart we can do some range selection we can zoom in and out to get any view of this data and let's look at our order list detail one and as I change the sales order you'll see down here I've got the order details on the bottom so I can check out the unity and the quantity for each order based on the product so we haven't written any code we have a pretty cool application now that not only does a bunch of the data entry stuff but it's very visual not only from an editor's perspective but some from some data visualization and you know the one the one uh, that we didn't do here let's take a look and do one more screen I'm not going to save changes, so I'll say, I'll say OK. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go to our uh, screens here. Let me add one screen. I'll do a search data screen, and let's search order details. I'll click OK. And in the order details for unit price, let's go ahead and do a gauge. And let's run that and just see how that looks. So the app starts back up. I've got my search order details and you can see I have all the order details here and now instead of a boring uh, string field and a label I have a gauge which gives me a better idea of the data that's in the database it gives me a much more visual way to look at it and it's easier clearly easier to ascertain the data value by looking at uh, the gauge and sort of where it is in comparison with with other values as I resize the column you'll notice that the gauge size can change as well and now this gauge can have multiple markers and multiple values so you could actually have unit price quantity and discount all represented in a single gauge so with that let's close the application and in the slide deck we talked about themes let's see how the themes look applied to this application and keep in mind you know what I like about the different themes is that they really do change the experience of an app just simply changing the theme can take an app from being kind of blah and boring to something kind of cool so here's the Infragistics default theme and you can see it's like nice tones of uh, blue and um, grays so as I select different screens the themes are applied automatically I don't have to do anything special to make that happen the charts look better the grids look better the scroll bars have a little more styling to them if I look at my search screen um, the gauges actually look a little bit nicer and a little bit better so just adding this theme can make an application go from something you know sort of I don't know boring to something kind of cool so let's go ahead and take a look at what the other themes would look like. I want to change the theme now to the Metro theme, which is the Microsoft uh, Metro is what they did for the Windows Phone. This is carried over now to light switch. And you can see here that it's a nice sort of minimalistic, nice light blues, nice grays. Pretty decent looking theme. All right, and then finally, well, actually, we have two more themes to look at. Let's take a look at the Office, uh, the Infragistics Office 2010 theme. So you can see as this loads up, we have the nice, you know, consistent look and feel with an Office application. So if you're used to using Word or Excel uh, with the Office Blue, you're used to these hues and tones 
and color shades in your apps. And then finally, we'll take a look at the orange color theme, which I think is pretty slick. This is based off of a dashboard application that we built, our IG Trader dashboard, Auto Trader. And it has uh, some nice gray and, and orange combinations to give a, a really eye popping uh, look for the theme. Very cool. All right, so let's close this out. The last thing we want to look at is the custom shell extension. So this actually will take an application um, to a whole nother experience for your users. So I'm going to switch to the IG theme and I'm going to open up the Infragistics light switch shell. So let's go ahead and run the application now. And when we talked about the Outlook tile navigation in the slide deck, we talked about having multiple screens visible at once, fast context switching, really sort of an innovative, interesting experience. So here we have our product category details, which is our default screen. Everything works the way you would expect. If I open up now my order list details, you'll notice it shows up, but down to the right went the category list details. If I order, open up my sales by product a list that shows up and now these screens go off to the right. I can go ahead and expand these other screens to bring them into view. I can select them to view multiple screens as well. I can rearrange screens right on um, the form. Let's go ahead and add our search order detail. So whatever screen you actually select, it's going to show up um, as the default right within the main viewing area. If I click the minimize button you'll end up seeing multiple screens at once and then if I maximize it again those screens go to the right hand side and from here I can select any screen to view and it will come into view so with this shell experience it's actually much easier to see what screens are open um, you can actually create sort of a neat dashboard view if you want to compare multiple screens at once so let's take a look here and I want to have um, that screen here and maybe this screen over here so I can actually just compare screens and look at them side by side If we look at our uh, sales by category sum and we'll put these two together you can really create that nice dashboard layout that your users would expect if you have more than four screens you can always use the scroll bar on the right hand side and page through the screens so with that uh, that's the Infragistics uh, custom shell experience as well as some of the controls, the data chart, the editors, the gauge that you've seen, and multiple themes. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.